And through Henry's tunnel. It was a very long way. His pistons were pounding and his axles were aching, but Thomas kept puffing. Chickens to market, sheep to the farm, children to school, Thomas panted. Thomas was getting more and more tired. He started to get confused. Sheep to market, children to the farm, chickens to school, yawned Thomas. When Thomas arrived at the market, he was very confused indeed. Please unload the sheep, said Thomas. He should have said chickens, but now the sheep were unloaded. Then Emily arrived. Emily could see that Thomas was tired. Would you like some help? asked Emily. No, thank you, puffed Thomas. Tank engines don't need help. But Thomas did need help. He was worn out. At last the sheep were unloaded. Thomas puffed away. Sheep to market, children to the farm, and chickens to school, yawned Thomas sleepily. When Thomas got to the farm, he told the children that it was their stop. So all the children got off at Farmer McColl's. Thomas was terribly tired. Finally, Thomas arrived at the school. Only the chickens were left. So the chickens were unloaded. And Thomas puffed back to the sheds. Sir Topham Hatt was in his office. He was getting lots of phone calls. The sheep had knocked over lots of market stalls. The children had seen all the farm animals. And the classroom was full of chickens. At last, Thomas puffed into Tidmouth sheds. He was looking forward to a nice long sleep. Then Sir Topham had arrived. Thomas, you have caused confusion and delay, he said. Sir Topham had told Thomas what had happened. Thomas was upset. He was very tired, and now he had to go and do his jobs all over again. Don't worry, Sir Topham had said. All you need is some help. Gordon said a really useful engine never needs help, moaned Thomas. <laughs> laughed Edward. I'm always helping Gordon up the hill. Gordon was very embarrassed. Percy and Edward, you are to help Thomas, Sir Topham had said. So Thomas puffed away with his friends. Percy took the sheep from the market to the farm. Edward took the chickens from the school to the market. And Thomas collected the children. Sorry, Thomas puffed to the children. I didn't mean to take you to the wrong place. We don't mind, said the children. We had a grand day out seeing the animals and learning all about the farm. And that night when Thomas finally went to sleep, he dreamt about sheep and chickens and children. <laughs> <laughs>